the discovery of methamphetamine, or meth, as it's more commonly known, on our island is of great concern, and we intend to confront this challenge head on. Meth is a powerful, highly addictive stimulant that affects the central nervous system. It takes the form of a white, odorless, bitter-tasting crystalline powder that easily dissolves in water or in alcohol. Meth is extremely harmful, and it goes without saying that meth is illegal in Barbados. This highly addictive stimulant is a direct threat to both the health of all Barbadians and to safety in our communities. I will stress, as was said before, that street meth is made in illegal labs and the purity and strength of this drug is not standard or is not controlled. And the illegally manufactured drug also contains toxic ingredients which make it very, very dangerous. For years, the NCSA's Barden reports have highlighted that persons were presenting to treatment facilities for non-traditional substances. And these reports also stated that young persons, particularly those aged 40 and under, are most likely to be involved in the drug situation, either as treatment seekers or drug offenders. This has significant implications for our future as a country and for our workforce, as persons in this age group are seen as the most productive of our citizens. Barbados has an aging population. Therefore, the responsibility lies with us to protect our young people and in doing so, protect the future of our country. Meth use is linked to a number of adverse effects. This substance is a powerful stimulant and even in small doses can increase wakefulness and physical activity and decrease appetite. This highly addictive substance can cause a variety of cardiovascular problems, including rapid heart rate, irregular heartbeat and increased blood pressure. Hypothermia, which is elevated body temperature, and convulsions may also occur with meth use and overdose, and if not treated immediately, can result in death. The use of this stimulant is also linked to violent behavior. Some of the short-term effects include increased attention and decreased fatigue, increased activity and wakefulness, decreased appetite, euphoria and rush, increased respiration, and a rapid and irregular heartbeat. I listed all of the effects for a reason. Meth use and its misuse goes way beyond its devastating effects on individual health. Meth misuse threatens whole communities, causing new waves of crime, unemployment, child neglect or abuse, and other social ills. A 2009 report from the RAND Corporation noted that meth misuse cost the United States of America approximately $23.4 billion back in 2005. To wrestle this problem to the ground, it must not be seen only as a responsibility of the government, but it must be seen for what it is, a whole of society problem. Therefore, the government's response will be inclusive of the government, the private sector, civil society, and the family unit. As a result, over the next few months, you will observe a public awareness drug campaign, which will highlight the harms associated with meth use signs and symptoms of meth use, and where you can seek help. Information for this campaign will be disseminated with the use of traditional media and on social media platforms. Training will also be extended to persons on the front line of this fight. This will allow us to keep up with this dynamic situation. Personnel from the NCSA will be conducting research activities on this new drug phenomenon, and will be conducting drug education sessions across all communities in the island. These efforts will be buttressed by drug education sessions provided by personnel attached to the Government Forensic Sciences Center and the Barbados Police Service. Another tool being utilized to combat this problem is the early warning system that you heard about before. This initiative, comprising several departments of government, has been established as a mechanism to keep abreast and even ahead of trends and developments locally as it relates to new psychoactive substances in use in Barbados. Today marks the first release from this mechanism, which was launched in 2019, and like several other projects, was impacted by the pandemic. However, I have to say I am pleased with where we are today.